give you a quick overview of the research process as we think of it for information literacy. Uh, you know, this applies whether you're doing, like, writing a paper, doing a speech, any kind of project, and you need to go out and find information. So, uh, number one, you have your topic, whether it's like your research question or your thesis statement, and there's various ways to, you know, narrow that down and get an angle, a handle on that. Uh, then you're searching for background information, so that could include, like, looking in uh, 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 some databases for uh, encyclopedia articles, that kind of thing. And then you're doing your searching uh, for articles, your peer-reviewed articles, or your more popular articles, uh, books, and websites. And then as you're doing all that stuff, you're evaluating what you're finding in terms of is it uh, relevant to your topic, is it you know, answering whatever your research question is, is it, uh, you know, and also is it credible, a good source, uh, especially if you're on the internet, you know, you want to evaluate what you're finding. Uh, and then you're, you know, in general you need to cite and manage what you're finding. So as you're out in the databases finding articles and finding books, uh, you want to cite them, you know, whether you're doing the MLA style or the APA style. And there's lots of good uh, tools, uh, software out there in the various databases that will help you manage your citations and put together bibliographies. Um, so that is a very brief overview of the research process.